In this exercise for ProPresenter, I'd like to show you how to simulate animation when you're designing your PowerPoint so you can pull your slides in as JPEGs. There are four ways to bring PowerPoint into ProPresenter and we have two lessons dealing with that. But what I'd like to suggest is many times your staff on the other end are going to pull your slides in simply as images but you can make it look like there is animation if you design your PowerPoint correctly. Now PowerPoint can animate fine on its own, but when you export to JPEG, you lose the feature. So how can you overcome that? Let me show you a trick I found that, that works pretty good. What I'm going to do is look at this finished slide on woodpeckers. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to have the bullets come in and the image come in as though it were an animated slide. The trick is you begin with the finished slide. That's slide number two in my list. I'm going to right click on two and I will say duplicate slide and I'm going to do that four times. Okay, so I have actually five copies of the same slide. Now the finish slide is what I want at the, la at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on slide number five and I'm going to take off the last bullet. Then on slide four, I'm going to take off the previous two bullets. Press the delete key. On slide three, I'm going to take off all the bullets And on slide two, um, I'm going to take off all the bullets and the picture as well. So what I've done is I've made it look like as we move from one slide to the other, we're going to have animation. So I click on the first slide, the second slide, my picture comes up, third slide, I get my first bullet, fourth slide, and then my last slide. And so if I save this presentation as it is, and then the ProPresenter people import it as JPEGs, and they move from slide to slide, it will look like it's been animated. It makes your PowerPoint presentation longer, but in modern days, the, the data storage isn't an issue at all. So this is a very simple way to design slides kind of backwards uh, in order to pull them into ProPresenter and have them work uh, with minimum transitions, minimum editing on the ProPresenter side of the equation. I hope you find this, this uh, little trick useful. Thank you.